सी फाइनल एस सी एम पी सेल्फ पेज पेपर वी आर ऑन आर मिशन टू बी डूइंग एम सी क्यूज दिस टाइम चैप्टर इज स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्टिंग नाउ वन स्मॉल थिंग ऑल दी एम सी क्यूज ऑफ अ सर्टन चैप्टर विल बी देर इन अ सिंगल प्ले लिस्ट सो इन केस यू वॉन्ट बी सींग ऑल द एम सी क्यूज वीडियोज देन द प्ले लिस्ट विल बी देर यू कैन सिलेक्ट दैट वन विल कीप ऑन प्लेइंग ओके वन आफ्टर दी अदर सो लेट स्टार्ट इट ऑफ लेट सी वॉट क्वेश्चन वी ऑल हैव टू डू The manager of the production department is arguing that the following point is not responsible for material usage variance. One sec. How do you compute material usage variance, beta? For actual output, how much raw material should have been used, and how much raw material was actually used into standard rate? That is how you will compute. So basically, material usage variance comes because your actual material quantity used is not equal to standard material quantity that had to be used. Now, one small thing: material usage variance further gets broken up into material mix and material yield variance. Let's come back to our question. Four options: change in method of production design, change in method of production or design. Okay, B. Increase efficiency in production can help in bringing down wastage return. Okay, then C over here. Changes made in the material mix. Okay, D. Purchase price of inferior quality material. Okay, these are the four options that are there. Let's look at each and every option in a normal way first. Change in the method of production or design. See, with technology and with passage of time, companies start to produce the same goods by using lesser material. Now, this happens might be due to better machines or change in the product design. To give you a small example, companies like HP, companies like Canon, used to be making printers. Earlier, printers were very big. they used to consume lot amount of plastic when we used to be making them but over a period of time these companies have started to make might be better printers but by using lesser amount of plastic so i think a cannot be the answer okay so that is one thing for sure let's look at uh, c option see we have to find out the reason what cannot be the reason for usage variance so if you change your method of production or the design of the product automatically in that case the quantity of material that you will be using will be changing here so a cannot be the answer what about c changes in the material mix changes in the material mix one sec usage variance gets divided up into two parts beta mix variance and yield variance if mix variance will change usage variance will automatically get affected here if you use say a costlier material instead of a cheaper material usage variance will get affected for sure so even c cannot be the answer what about b <clears throat> increase efficiency in production can help in bringing down wastage c if suppose workers efficiency increase over a period of time because you all have learned better methods we trained them okay then they can be consuming lesser quantity of material it is not surprise like you know it can happen as such so as per me even b cannot be the reason then d i think is the obvious answer okay but let me read d that is important d purchase price of inferior quality material purchase price of inferior quality material now if suppose there is a change in the purchase price of any material to be very honest it does not affect usage variance it affects material price variance beta so therefore d cannot be the reason of material usage variance that is for sure okay so d has to be the correct answer yeah that's the correct one